How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to get the lava rod and also the obby badge inside a fishing simulator But let's get right into it So where this obby is located is if you head over to popperson next to the um, hot air balloon you can teleport over to the eruption island so head over there first and once you get there you want to follow the path straight into that doorway right there so there won't be a whole lot of commentary throughout this but what but you generally want to do is you want to just follow where i'm jumping at because i'm going to be showing you the pattern you want to go at because you do have to go multiple ways at the same time and don't worry if you fall in love but you won't die you'll just get teleported back to like a save point Now, if you do see things like this little rock wall, these things are climbable, so do keep that in mind. Alright, we're done with the first area, and as you can see, these players are heading over there. But what you actually want to do is actually follow the signs. So if you head over this direction, you just want to head all the way up. All the way up this path, walk over the wood, and you head on to the giant skeleton of whatever this is supposed to be. And then you'll be able to drop right on top of this little ice cannon, and when you fire this cannon, it will actively create bridges for you to walk across. Now, if you do fall in lava, don't worry, you'll just be teleported up there, so do not worry. But let's head all the way through. Here, we gotta wait for this one to fall. There are moving platforms on the next level. This is, I think, the only one on this part of the obby. Let's wait for it to go all the way up. Now, I would recommend when jumping, make sure it's stopped. Because normally, if it's stopped, it means it's as high as you can go. But... Here is the third area. Now, this place is a little complicated. This is the main reason why I'm making the tutorial. But before we do do the do the, like the obby area, if you head up here and run around this wall, there is a chest back here. I'm pretty sure mine is still locked, is it? Yeah, there's a chest out here. I'm pretty sure it gives 300 coins. I'm pretty sure. But it spawns in every 12 hours. You can open it. So make sure to get that one real fast. But... Now that we did the ob, now that we did that, let's head all the way through. And the first area you want to head is this way. You want to follow this path right here. And you want to walk around here. This jump and this jump. You want to get on top of this floating platform. Don't do as risky as I did. And once it goes all the way up, jump on the rock wall. Now, I would recommend face towards the thing in case you're not good at obbies. You want to press W and space at the same time and just hold it. And then you'll get up here, fire this cannon, and it will create a floating platform down there. And at this point, you can just jump into the lava. And then you want to make your way straight up to that rock wall. And when you get all the way up here, don't jump on that pad until it's all the way down there. And then once you get on the pad from jumping from right there, you want to jump over to this rock. And then you're going to have to do that one more time with this one. Of course, I would recommend doing it from down here. So jump to this little area right below, like the top ledge on the second one. And then it's a little bit easier. By the way, I'm holding shift throughout this entire thing in order to sprint. So do keep that in mind that I am running the entire time. But once I get over here, you want to fire this cannon, which will create a very necessary little... Floating island right there. That's going to head up in a second. I think once this one heads back down, it'll sink. There we go. It'll start heading up, and that's the next where we're going to go next. So head back into the lava. 
and follow the obby all the way through this way. Now this is this is honestly the part where a lot of people get confused, but you want to head you don't want to head that way. You want to head over here. Climb up on this rock, jump onto that ledge, and then the other direction, head all the way up, head to the doorway, and then this is the hard jump. You want to jump to that block right there. And once you get up here, this is the really hard jump. You gotta jump like right into that corner piece. Make sure you like you aim for this corner piece in order to get up there pretty easy. Make sure you're sprinting because this is the normal walk speed and then this is sprinting. You got to make sure you're sprinting. And from this point, you went ahead right here all the way up. And this is the part where I actually saw a player get here and not have the invisible platform. But you want what you want to do is from this spot right here. I would recommend in case you're not good at obbies, you want to jump all the way down what's on the lowest point it can be right there. And once you get all the way up, you want to sprint and jump all the way over here. And this is just a little bit of obby skill you're going to need. You got to jump on all of these wooden platforms. And if you fall, you restart all the way back at the beginning. But, well, not the total beginning, but like right there. And once you get over here, this is the next area you have to go. You have to wait for this to head back down. Dang it. I was too slow. Let's wait for this to come back down real fast. Hello. Platform. 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 Let me be free. Please. Please. Thank you. Yee. And now we wait. Slow and steady. Uh. Here we go. And over here. Normally, it won't be there for me, but a chest will spawn right here. I'm pretty sure it gives you a little bit of money. It'll get you the achievement Lava Obby. It wasn't easy, but you completed the Obby, which will give you another 300 coins. This can go to like buying a boat or like upgrades or maybe even a rod. And when you open a chest, you will also get a Lava Rod, which is a very special item. I would not recommend selling it because I'm pretty sure you can only get one. But let me head down real fast. And this one will let you fish inside of lava. And you can get a couple of fish from lava. Let me fish one real fast to show you it works. There we go. Let's fish this one up real fast. There we go. I caught a common, I got a common magma trout. And you can find all the ones in volcano lava. You can get a magma largemouth bass and you can get a magma swordfish. And these sell for quite a bit. I think this one sells for like 20. This one around like 50. And I think this one sells for like 200 coins. Maybe like a little higher than that. Maybe 400. I don't know. But somewhere around there. So these fish are pretty good to get. I think I have a pretty high chance of getting a lava fish. Considering a legendary. Because there's only like one legendary and two other fish. It's not that bad. But hopefully this tutorial did help you out in certain parts. I know this part was kind of confusing for me. It took me like an hour to figure this out. Because I was being stupid. But I do hope you all enjoyed this video. I will see you all next time and peace.